Hey friends, this is the song Even So Come, and I hope you love this simplified way to chord along to this song. If you do stop and uh, click on the description below, you will find the link to the chord sheet, and it'll make a lot more sense as we dive in. All right, so I'm going to teach you some chords, and then we'll dive in. So I'm going to teach you G, A minor, B minor, C, D, and then we have E minor. So let's look for the G chord. So if you look for this group of three black notes, you will find the G sort of tucked in between those and line up your five fingers and then play every other note there. We have G, B, D, and that makes up our G major chord. Okay, so the rest of the chords I'm gonna teach you, we're just gonna sort of stair step all the way up. So we have G major chord. If you sort of freeze that shape in your hand and move up one set of notes, you're in the A minor position, ready to go. So we have A, C, E, okay? That's our A minor. Okay, let's move up one set of notes. For this B minor, this is gonna be the trickiest chord to play. So we're gonna play the B, D, I'm gonna use finger two there, and then F sharp. Okay, so we have B, D, F sharp. This chord sort of makes this curved line, and it's a little easier to uh, remember if you can kind of in, imagine that shape, okay? We have uh, B minor there, okay? Move up one set of notes and then play every other note again, and play C, E, G, and that is our C major chord, okay? Move up one set of notes again, and then pick up this black note that we just got done playing with that B minor. So we're gonna play D, F sharp, A. And this chord makes a triangle shape. So if you can imagine it being a triangle, D, F sharp, A with black note in the middle, that's our D major chord, okay? And then our last and final chord, are you with me? We have E minor, so we play E, G, B, okay? Pretty simple, okay? So uh, just to remind you of what those chords are, we have G, A minor, B minor, C, D, triangle, and then our E minor. Okay, that's what our right hand is going to be doing. Our left hand is going to be playing single notes. So we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to put pinky on G for this song and keep your hands here, your finger here this whole time. Sorry, your fingers in that same position and don't move them because if you're moving both hands unnecessarily, you kind of lose track of where you're at. Okay, so we're going to play single G when we play our G chord. Okay. A to A, okay, left hand single notes. B, when we play the B minor. C to C chord. D, single note to that D triangle chord. And then when we play that E minor, you're gonna open it up, just one note. See how my left hand wrist just swings open? That thumb is gonna play that E minor, okay? E, when we play E minor up here swing open. Otherwise, kind of keep this hand here the whole song. All right, I'm going to sing and play through verse one so you can see how it sounds when you bring both hands together, and then um, I'll break down the rhythm for you, okay? Here we go. In all of creation, all of the earth, make straight a highway, a path for the Lord. Jesus is coming. Okay, so like I mentioned in the beginning, this just gives you a really great foundation to be able to chord and sing along to this song. Um, so what we're doing to bring the two hands together is a simple ratio I call one to two ratio. And that simply means we're going to play both hands together, then just the right hand by itself. Both hands together, right hand by itself. Together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right. And you could practice that pattern on any chord that you feel comfortable starting it out together right together right together right and so on okay so let's go through that verse one together I also want to just take a minute uh, before we do that and mention something that if you notice patterns in your music it helps take out a lot of overwhelm so look at verse one two and three we have um, all of the chords being the same thing you just kind of have this four chord progression where it's a minor e minor g and d and that's just the verses. That's what it's made up of. And then if you take a look at the chorus, we have lines one and three repeating and lines, uh, well, not two and four, but lines one and three are the same. And then, um, so that's the little bit of a pattern there. When you look at the bridge, it's just the same three chords looped back and forth. C, E minor, D, C, E minor, D. So just take note of that when you're <clears throat> playing your music, okay? 
All right, so let's go through verse one together. And if you just want to do right hand only by itself, that's okay as well. All right, here we go. All of creation, all of the earth. Okay, move to that E minor. So you're moving right hand up to this E minor position, opening that thumb here in the left hand. Make straight a highway, a path for the Lord. Move to the G. Jesus is coming. Move to the D, triangle. Soon. Okay, verse two and three are going to be that exact same thing, okay? I also want to mention, like, when you're chording, it's okay if you want to do the G down here or the G up on top, or you want to play the E minor here or the E minor down here. Whatever, there's really no right or wrong way to chord. You could just kind of come up with whatever octave feels more comfortable to you. Sometimes there's a greater distance between chords, so you might want to choose a different one that feels good for you. That's totally fine, okay? All right, uh, let's see. Let's take a look at that chord. E minor, and this thumb just opens up here, okay? Like a bride, move to the C, waiting for... G, a groom will be a, okay, B minor, and then B here, a church ready for you, E minor, every heart, C, longing for our G, King, we, B minor, sing. So the bridge looks like this. So we C chord, wait. We E minor. Remember that left hand thumb just opens up. Wait for D U. Again. God, we wait. Your E minor coming soon. And the D there, okay? All right, so that kind of bridges you back to the verse if you'd like to, or you can kind of go back and forth through the bridge a couple times, back to the chorus. There's so much flexibility and fun when you're kind of just learning to accompany yourself or other people. There's um, a lot of variety that you can add to it. All right, um, you can go back to the beginning if you need any help. I'm going to play it beginning to end, and you can play along with me if you find you mess up. Just find your next chord, word, syllable, whatever, and keep going. Justice. 